I can't do that. I can't sell it to anybody except for you as a consumer can come in and buy it for your home kegerator. Uh, and we do quite a bit of that. But at the same time, that's not, uh, that's not going to sustain us. Um, my name is Mauricio Yaris. Uh, I am the tapper manager, the social media and uh, events manager as well. Uh, my name is John Cheek. I'm the president of Orlando Brewing. Uh, well, we're organic. Uh, and basically, uh, being organic uh, really doesn't have to do with a whole lot of things uh, except for the ingredients. Uh, being organic has to do with the biology of the soil, the livability of the soil, the organisms in the soil that help the plants convert the nitrogen uh, that they need to grow. Uh, we're the only organic one, 100% uh, certified organic. And we also follow the Rahatskabut, which is the German purity law. We only use four ingredients for most of our beers, except for the Violator series. Um, so that's pretty much what kind of stands us apart. We take pride in knowing what ingredients we use in our beer. Well, that was, uh, that was very interesting because uh, at the brewery, uh, we have always uh, adhered to what's called the German purity law or the Reinheitsgebot, uh, which basically said, among other things, that it had to do with the, uh, the purity of the beer. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's great for the, uh, for the moving along, but it's not so great for growth. And uh, we have a golden opportunity right now, simply because of the fact of COVID, that people are more inclined to be looking for that organic symbol. And to make it even better, Michelob Ultra yada 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 is now organic. So seeing that, uh, that organic symbol on the, uh, on the TV, uh, that can do nothing but help uh, promote me. It was specifically designed, uh, well, let me go back. It, when you start talking about uh, distribution, we live under what is called the three-tiered system. You have the manufacturer, you have the distributor, and you have the retailer. None of those can be the same. Um, and so you have to have different people doing different, uh, different things. I mean, the biggest and most obvious one is just the fact that we have to rely on a third person to get the beer somewhere. Um, it's, it's hard because, you know, they're human too, I get that. But they favor certain companies over smaller ones. They favor whatever is more profitable. So to actually get our product out there, to properly represent it, I think is the biggest thing. You know, one thing is me going out there, selling it to a bar, like I know this beer inside and out. But a third person that has never been to the brewery, how are they supposed to sell that beer to a customer potentially? I think that's the biggest drawback right now. Now the distributors have all the power, so you have all these big, super distributors who are now controlling the market. Um, just to give you an example, we have uh, eight beers in distribution here in Central Florida. Well, we make over 37. So what happened to the other 29 beers? Well, they just don't get distributed? Well, yeah, there are people that want those types of beers. You know, there's a steakhouse here, a steakhouse there. They don't mind spending $200 for a, uh, for a keg of beer because they know they're going to be able to get uh, uh, significantly more money back in the, uh, in the into the cash register. Um, so uh, yeah, that is uh, self distribution is something that uh, that uh, we in the guild and me personally have been fighting for uh, well 27 plus years. I could make more beers more often uh, because I would actually have a flow through. I would actually have a flow through of, uh, of beer going from the beginning to the uh, to the ultimate sale. Uh, now I'm interrupted. I can sell beer by the glass here, but here I'm treated as a retailer. Um, I'm, a, I'm a manufacturer with the ability to retail, uh, but that's only because I manufacture on site. If I manufacture someplace else, then I can't do that. I. Uh, we have quite a few really good beers. It really depends upon uh, what mood I'm in. Um, we had the steamy summer, which comes out in the middle of the summer. That, we had, that just went away last month. 
Uh, that's one of my favorites. I always look forward to that. Uh, they say, wow, you're already drinking? I said, well, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, that would be a uh, answer to uh, all my prayers. Uh, because the only thing that I've ever wanted to do since the very beginning is run my own business.